Mother Duck, if you like. Oh, okay. gosh. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Today we're going to tell you the story all about the ugly duckling. Do you know it? Well, this is how it goes. Once upon a time there were five little ducklings, but one of them was quite different from the rest. Not many fish today, Mr. Bungle. No, Mr. Jeffrey, I think the ducks have frightened them all away. Ah. Here, look at that one over there. Never seen such an ugly looking duckling. No! Why, it can't even quack properly! Quack, quack, quack. Go away, ugly duckling. You're frightening away all the fish. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. Morning, Mr. Morning, my dears. Morning, Mr. Morning, Mr. Morning, 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 morning. There once was an ugly duckling With feathers all stubby and brown And the other birds in so many words said Get out of town Get out Get out Get out of town Quack? Quack, 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 quack. Hello, my name's George. What's yours? Ah, I'm Brewster the Rooster, the finest, most handsome rooster you'll see in the whole wide world. Cockadoodle! <laughs> what kind of animal are you supposed to be? I'm a dog. Quack, quack. <laughs> Duckling! Uh, Daisy, come and look at this funny looking duckling! <laughs> What's that, Brewster? Isn't that the ugliest looking duckling you've ever seen? <laughs> That's true! Where's Henry the horse? Henry, come and look at the ugly duckling! <laughs> I'm not ugly! Oh, yes, you are! <laughs> <laughs> Henry the horse, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretending to be a lion. You don't have lions in a farmyard. You're supposed to be a horse. Yeah, but horses are boring. I want to be a lion. Rawr. Oh, come on, stop it, Zippy. Play properly. If you're not going to play properly, you can go indoors. Oh, all right. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, that's the ugliest duckling I've ever seen. Quack, get out, quack, quack. Get out, quack, quack. Get out of town. So he went with a quack and a waddle and a quack and a flurry of wider down. Am I really ugly? 
I'd better go away. So he went with a quack and a waddle and a quack and a flurry of eiderdown. Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, I wonder where I am. I I've never been to this part of the river before. <gasps> Ooh, look at all the fishes swimming about. <laughs> Hello, fishy wishy. Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Hello, who are you? My name's George. I'm the ugly duckling. Who are you? Oh, I'm Freddy the fish. <laughs> Can you make me beautiful so that all the other animals will like me? Oh, I can't make you beautiful. But you're just a youngster. Wait till you grow up. Things might be different then. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, don't get your... Oh, he's gone. Oh, I wish I was a fish instead of an ugly duckling. Quack, quack, quack. The ugly duckling swam far, far away until it was night time. When all the cows were sleeping and the sun had gone to bed, up jumped a scarecrow, and this is what he said. Oh, uh, Dinkle Dankle Scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. And, and shake my feet, feet like that, like, like... Who's, who's that? Who's singing my song? Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm the ugly duckling. Ugly? How do you know you're ugly? Everyone tells me I am, so I must be. Do you think I'm ugly? Well, I don't know. I can't see you in the dark, can I? You don't sound ugly. <laughs> hey, Jasper, come here. Jasper? Who's that? Jack, oh, he's a friend of mine. He knows everything now. He'll tell you if you're ugly or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up then, Sammy? Oh, uh, got a little problem for you. Oh, yeah? Well, <clears throat> is this little duckling ugly or not? Oh, well, uh, he looks different from other ducklings, but yeah. that doesn't mean to say he's ugly. No. You mean I'm not ugly? Well, I wouldn't say you was. You're just you. And I'm just me. We're all different, you know. There's only one of you and that's you. There's only one of me and that's me. Just the one and only. It's not a sad or lonely way to be. There's only one of me and that's me. There's only one of you and that's you It's always been the same There's nothing we could ever change it to When we're together Ooh When we're together Ooh There's not one of us There's two when we're together, ooh, when we're together, ooh, I'm still me and you're still you. There's only one of you and that's you. There's only one of me and that's me. That's the way we are. And that's the only way we'll ever be When we're together Ooh When we're together Ooh There's not one of us There's three When we're together Ooh When we're together Get back to 
work. Yeah, you're right. Bye bye, duckling. Uh, good luck. Bye bye. Uh, good goodbye. Uh, thank you. Well, I suppose I'd better find some way to sleep. The ugly duckling swam far, far away. Nobody seemed to like him. And the only place he could find where nobody could bother him was the cold and windy moors. All through the winter time, he sat amongst the reeds, very cold and very lonely. Until, finally, spring arrived. Oh, 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 look, spring's here. No more snow. Whee! Hello there, Swally. What brings you here? <laughs> Pardon? Who are you? I'm a goose. You know, like goosey, goosey, gander. Where will you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. <laughs> but, but what did you call me? Swanny? What's that? You're a swan. I'm a swan? Look, there. You're just like them. Oh, oh aren't they beautiful? Look at those wings. Look at those necks. If only I was a swan. Come on, you lot. Tell him. He won't believe me. You're, You're a, a swan! swan. <gasps> Me? A swan? Oh, go on. Well, look in the water, then you'll see. And, and he looked, looked and, and he, he saw, saw, and, and he, he said, said, I am a swan. Whee! I'm not such an ugly duckling with feathers all stubby and brown. And the other birds in so many words said The best in town The best The best The best in town Hooray! <laughs> and he lived happily ever after Oh, oh, nice. Nice. oh that was good, that was George, wasn't it? But, but, of course, I should have played the part of the ugly duckling because I'm the best quacker. Quack, 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 oh, quack, 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 quack. Oh, quack. It's time to say goodbye now. Take care, won't you? We'll see you very soon. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Come on, let's sing the song again, shall we? Right. Join in with us at home, will you? Five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And five little ducks came swimming back. But moon, shining very brightly in blanket sky. That's the Spoon family spaceship. It's taking a trip to Button Moon. Hello, Tina Teaspoon. Hello, Mr. Spoon. He's busy driving the spaceship. Hello, Mrs. Spoon. Mr. Spoon is going to press the round button to make the spaceship land. They've landed safely on Button Moon. Hello! 
Oh, the Spoon family know that's rag doll shouting. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, hello, everybody. It's nice to see you all again. Oh, we're going camping together in Candlewick Field. Tina's asking her mum and dad if they can go camping. Mrs Spoon thinks it's a very good idea. All their camping things are still packed away inside the spaceship. Oh, well, we'll go on ahead and find a nice place to put up the tent for the night. Uh, see you later. Mr Spoon is going to fetch the tent. And Tina wants to help. Come on, Freddy Teddy. He's taking his time. He's so slow. <laughs> oh, wait for me, Ragdoll. Wait for me. Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh, I'm going to have a little rest here. I'm going to sit down and uh, have one of the honey sandwiches from my duffel bag. Well, then the duffel bag will be lighter and, and easier to carry. Teddy's taking his time. I'd better go and help him carry that great big bag. Mmm. 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 Oh, that was a yummy honey sandwich. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I got sticky paws now, but it was worth it. <laughs> oh, come on, Freddy Teddy. I found a lovely fill for camping. Come on. Oh, oh, all right, Ragdoll. Ragdoll, you've gone and left the gate open. You must always close gates. Oh, oh and there's cows in that field. If they were to get out, the farmer would be very cross with you and with me. Oh, sorry. I didn't know there were cows in the field. Anyway, I don't think we should put up our tent in a cow field. No. <laughs> no, we could put it up over there in Candlewick Field. Mm. Yeah, and don't forget to close that gate. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Freddy Teddy. Oh, I've got to remember the country code. Oh, you stay in the field, you cows! Tina's very pleased to see Ragdoll and Freddy Teddy, and they've put up their tent already. Oh, uh, shall we help you put up your tent? Mm. Mr. Spoon thinks that's very kind of them. Mr. Spoon's forgotten to bring his mallet, so I'm going to lend him ours. Then he'll be able to hammer in his tent pegs. Now, um, did I put it? Yes, I think I must have put it inside my duffel bag. Hmm. No, it's not inside my duffel bag. I must have left it in the tent. It... Oh. I thought we were putting up the Spoons family's tent next to ours, and, and our tent's right over here. Oh, well, uh, must have been mistaken. <sighs> oh, that's very odd. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, Ragdoll must have the mallet. Teddy, I hadn't noticed I brought the mallet with me. Tina's asking her mum if they can look through the telescope. Mr. Spoon says he'll fetch it from the spaceship. Moo! Moo! The cow is mooing on button moon. <laughs> the cow's never seen a spaceship before. She's having a look around. Mr. Spoon found it quite a walk back to the spaceship. The cow has seen Mr. Spoon. But Mr. Spoon hasn't seen the cow. Mr. Spoon has got the telescope. He doesn't know he's being followed by a cow. Mrs. Spoon is thanking Freddy Teddy for putting up their tent. Oh, that's all right. 
Uh, Ragdoll, you're being a bit quiet. I know. I'm very tired. Oh. Well, well look, Mr Spoon's here with his telescope. Don't you want to look through it? Oh, no, not today. I want to climb into my sleepy bed and drop right off to sleep. Good night, everybody. Mr Spoon wants us all to look through the telescope to see what we can see. <coughs> At number 13 Creep Street lives Brew the Witch and Thunder the Dragon. Thunder the Dragon is getting ready for bed. Thunder's in the bath. It's too small and his tail hangs out. He doesn't want to get his ears wet. That's why he's wearing Brew's bath cap. Oh, he doesn't care if he looks silly. <laughs> Thunder's certainly enjoying his bath. Brew's coming up the stairs to see if Thunder's finished his bath. Tail! Brew's asking Thunder whether he's washed his tail. No, he hasn't. Oh, feet! Has he washed his feet? No, he hasn't. Scrubbing brush! Oh, if Thunder doesn't hurry up and get out of the bath, she's going to use a scrubbing brush on him. He hates that. Oh! Thunder's had his bath at last. And now, he wants Brew to read him a bedtime story. No! Thunder will read himself a bedtime story. It's his favourite, because it's all about him. <coughs> Once upon a time, a witch called Brew went to the pet shop in the high street. She bought what she thought was a lizard. But it was really... a baby dragon. It was him. <laughs> Thunder's so pleased. He likes living with Brew. Thank you very much, Mr. Spoon. That was great fun. I'm feeling a bit hungry now. Oh, well, Tina's asking Freddy Teddy if he wants to share their sandwiches. They're inside the tent. Oh, thank you very much. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ragdoll's fast asleep. Oh, she was tired. Oh, is that you, Freddy Teddy? Moo. Did you like looking through the telescope? Moo. Oh, what did you see? Moo. You saw a moo? Moo. The cow has seen Ragdoll's green bow and thinks it's something to eat. Moo. Ah! Ragdoll, why are you screaming? There was a cow in the tent. Oh, you must be dreaming. I can't see a cow. Well, I did. Moo. I just heard a moo. Oh, uh, I heard a moo too. Moo. Oh. I told you there was a cow. Oh, well, uh, I'd better take it back to the cow field then. Come on, you. Oh, don't worry, Mr Spoon. There was a cow in my tent. Freddy Teddy's going to take her back to the cow field. Good night, Mr. Spoon. Tina's in her sleeping bag. She's had a lovely time on Button Moon. Her mum and dad are saying good night. We've been to Button Moon. Button Moon. Button Moon. Thank you.
This leaflet I got through the post this morning. It's from the police and it's all about burglaries and burglars. Do you know, there are more than 900,000 burglaries take place in Britain each year. It's awful, isn't it? Anyway, that's why I'm so cross with Sooty. Well, not that he's a burglar or anything, but the fact is, when I went down to get the post this morning, the door, the front door, was just blowing in the breeze. And guess whose fault it is? You've guessed. Sooty's. Come on. Come on, Sooty. Come on, left a bit. That's it. Come on. Come on. Oh, well done, Sooty. You've caught another one. And it's a big one this time, too. Hello, Sooty. Hello, Sue. Oh, hello, Matthew. To? We're just doing a spot of fishing, that's all. Fishing? Well, it seems like a reasonable thing to be doing in your bedroom at this time in the morning. Come on, Sooty, put the rod down and the fish as well. Take it down there, because I want to talk to you. Actually, I want to put it down. I want to talk to you about this leaflet which I got through the post this morning. Mm -hmm. It's all about burglaries and how to stop them. Yes, but we already have window locks, Matthew. Well, that's true. We do, Sue. We've got good locks on the doors. Yes, all our doors are fitted with mortise deadlocks, which is absolutely fine, providing you remember to close the door. What do you mean? What do I mean? I'll tell you what I mean. Some twit left the front door open all last night. So <gasps> do you remember me asking you to check before you came up to bed? You see, he admits it, Sue. Yes, but are you sure it's Sooty's fault, Matthew? Of course I'm sure. Do you remember last night I had a bath and I shouted down and asked you to check the door before you all came up to bed? Oh, yes, yes, yes I remember. We all came up to bed. That's right. And then you went down and put the milk bottles out. That's right. I went down and put the, mi put the milk... Oh. Hmm. That means it was me who used the door last, yes? Yes, and that makes you the twit, doesn't it, Matthew? Yeah, all right, Sue. We could have been burgled. Well, yes, we could have been. Oh, look, I'm terribly sorry. It was most careless of me. But at least we weren't burgled. Everything is fine. On... So, what do you mean emergency? What's the emergency, sweet? What's the matter? What's... We've been burgled? Oh, dear, this is all your fault, Matthew, for leaving the door open. Don't panic, Sue. Are you sure we've been burgled, sweet? Is something missing? Is it something of great value? What, what is it? What is it? Your bone? You left it in the lounge? And now it's gone. What sweet little What's this? That's your bone. It wasn't lost at all. We haven't been burgled. It was underneath Sooty's bed. But I tell you what, we've all learned something. We must be much more careful about security. Look at this, Sooty. See what it says there about locks. Fancy me leaving the door wide open all last night. It's no good having window locks if you're going to leave the door wide open. Do you know, I am thinking about having one of these security systems installed, you know, like a burglar alarm. Unfortunately, they're very expensive. <laughs> That's why you can help me out. Yes, you can forget all about expensive alarm systems. I can? How come? Well, you know how clever Sooty is. Well, yes. Yes, yes, yes. well, he's got an amazing new invention. <laughs> He's called it his burglar box. Yes, it's wonderful, uh, and it will give you complete protection. And security. Mm. Complete protection and security. Yes. Listen, Sue, I know that Sooty's sort of very clever, but I very much doubt if he could design complete protection and security against me, never mind a, a professional burglar. Well, he has. Well, I say he hasn't. As a matter of fact, I am telling you right here and now that I could beat any security system that Sooty could invent. Come on, let's go and see. Come on, okay. come on. Here we are. Voila, Sooty's burglar box. Is this it? Mm -hmm. Is it? And this is supposed to give me complete security and protection, careful, is it? Careful, careful, please, what? Matthew. Don't tip it up like that. Why not? It's crammed with delicate instruments inside here. Yes. Delicate instruments? <laughs> Very much doubt it. As a matter of fact, it all looks a bit crummy to me. Listen, I'll tell you once more, that thing isn't even going to stop me. Never mind a real burglar, you know. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is, Matthew? Have right. You... 
Got anything valuable? Anything valuable? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a five pound note in the kitchen drawer, I think. Hang on. There we are. Will that do? Perfect. Good. <laughs> Put it in the box. Mm. The five pound note mm -hmm. in the uh, in the burglar box. <laughs> Put it in there. All right. Right. Okay. right. Right. Now, what you've got to do is yes. try to sneak up on the box. <laughs> That's right, try to steal the five pounds as if you were the burglar. No problem at all, watch this. And now... Go... No, 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 oh, dear no, no. Matthew, what is the matter? What's wrong? Excuse us. What? But we're not standing here, if you don't mind. Why? Come on, Sweep, let's go and watch from a safe distance. Safe distance? What, what do you... Wait, what do you mean a safe... What do you mean a safe distance? What's going to happen? It... You're happy now, are you? Happy? <laughs> Yes, yes, we are. Mm. Right. Well, here I am, and I am a nasty, horrible, mean burglar. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to creep up on this strange-looking box and open the lid and reach my hand in and collect the five pounds. I've done it. Right. I thought this thing was meant to be secure protection, you know. I've forgotten the fuel. Yes. What fuel? Yes, he's quite right, Matthew. Get the biscuits, sweet. Biscuits? Where's well, this thing fueled by biscuits? What sort of an invention is this? A sooty invention. Mm. Of course, silly me, it's a sooty invention. And I put the biscuits in here, do I? That's Very right. strange. I think I think I'd better put the whole lot in. Hang on. There they go. All the biscuits in there. Fancy having a device like this powered by biscuits. Five pounds in as well? Right. By the way, uh, whereabouts is Sooty? Because he should be here to see his invention, this burglar box. Huh? <laughs> He's busy. Yes, he's busy, but don't worry. He'll know whether his invention is working properly or not. Yes, but Sue, how exactly will he know how, how his invention is... That move. That's moving. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Cooey. It's a sort of periscope thing. Mm. I should stand well back if I were you. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> what? And pretend to be a burglar. Mm. Ha hang on a minute. Let me just... Clear this up. You don't think I'm going to be able to steal that five pounds, is that right? No, not a chance. Not a chance. Well, I just wish Sooty were here to witness it, that's all. Mm. So here we go again. I am a horrible, mean, nasty burglar, and I'm going to creep up on the burglar box, and I'm coming round the back, and I'm going to reach my hand inside. There we go. And I'm going to the... Where's my five pounds? Where much is it? I think... Ah! Oh! Ow! Something's clamped my hand! Mm -hmm. Sweet! So, ow! Something's got... Hang on, I've, I've got... Uh, 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 I've got the note. God, there was a very strange... Uh, look at that! Look! My hand is covered in... It's covered in paint! Look! <laughs> this isn't a five pound note. It's a, it's a written note. What does it say? This special orange paint is permanent. <coughs> permanent? Mm -hmm. It cannot be washed off. It will show up under special lighting and prove to the police that you are a burglar. Mm. Special lighting? We don't need special lighting to see that. Well, it just goes to show you that Sooty's burglar box certainly works. All right, first point to you and Sooty's burglar box. Pass me a paper towel. Let me All get right. this stuff off, please. Thank you very much indeed. Look at this. It really won't come off. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that burglar box. I've a good mind. I've a good... <laughs> what a dreadful noise. I am not going to give up, though. I'm not going to be beaten. I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I think I'm going to go out for a walk. A walk outside in the fresh air. See you later. Bye. 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 Shh. Not a word. I'm going to try and creep up underneath the electronic eye so it doesn't know I'm here. Shh. And just creep up without it knowing. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Look at the state of me. Oh, dear Matthew. What a drip. Do you admit defeat? Has the box beaten you? The box has not beaten me. The box wouldn't beat a burglar. 
and I'll be blowed if the box will beat me. So I'm going to try a different tack. If the box will allow me, I'll get my cap and then I'm going out for a stroll. Ah, oh, here's my cap. And now I really am going outside for about, oh, an hour or two or four. See you later. Bye. Give in. I'm gonna go upstairs and jump in the shower and get myself clean, get myself changed, and then I'm going to get a 50 pound hammer and smash the burglar box into a thousand pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Sooty, come out, come out. Matt isn't at all happy. You're right, Sweep, he's not very clean either. But listen, seriously, Matthew is very cross. What are we going to do? Hang on, Sweep. Uh, ah, if it meets with Sooty's approval, this is what we're going to do. Right! Oh, oh, oh. Now that I am clean and dry, I will deal with the burglar box. Where is it? Where's what, Matthew? The burglar box. Where is it? Oh, that thing. Uh, yes. I don't know. You don't know? I... Look. That door's open. <gasps> oh, no! What do you mean, oh, no? What do you mean? Well, what you is... know what this means. No, what does it mean? What it's it mean? been stolen. Stolen? Mm. <laughs> you, you're kidding. The burglar box. Mm. Stolen. I must tell. So this is a classic of all time. Sooty, where are you? Come on up here. Come on, up you come. But listen to me, Mr. Smarty Pants. Your burglar box has been burgled. <laughs> Nicked. Knocked off. <laughs> swiped. What do you say? It's a shame about my five pound note. You're right, my five pounds was in that burglar box. Oh dear, poor old Matthew. It's not your day, is it? No, and it won't be your day either if I don't get my five pounds back. How do you suggest we start to find it? You got the answer. Now, I hope so, I really do. I... What's that thing making that noise for? The bug? What do you mean the bug? Oh, there's a bug inside the burglar box. And it's been picked up by this receiver. That's clever. Yes, it's like a tiny little transmitter about Is the it? size of a thimble. And as you get closer, the bleeping gets quicker so I you see. can track down the burglar box. Mm, well, never mind the burglar box. It's my five pounds I'm bothered about. Do I need your help? No, I don't need your help at all. I can sort this business out on my own, thank you. Well, thanks to this, anyway. Look, it's a... It's a nice day. Why don't you go and have a little relax in the garden? All go right. on. I'll sort this business out. The signal's good and strong. It shouldn't take long at all. I'll see you uh, shortly. It's over here somewhere. And indeed, it probably wouldn't have taken long if it hadn't been for Sue's plan. But the fact is, Sweep had removed the bug from the burglar box and attached it to a doggy friend. Those three little rascals had decided to send Matthew on a wild goose chase. Hello, there 
you are, Sweep. Have you done it? You've attached the bug to the doggy's collar. Good. Right. We can go and relax now. Imagine a box that will fox any burglar at large. Burglar box, burglar box. In the meantime, they all relaxed at a neighbour's swimming pool. Burglar box, burglar box. No need to worry, it's safe and secure. It's designed by Sooty, so one thing's for sure. It's full of surprises, it's called Burglar Box. Burglar Box. Burglar Box. Burglar Box. A box of tricks that's so quick it succeeds every time. Burglar box, burglar box A face full of water, it ought to be cleaning up crime Burglar box, burglar box If you are foolish, you'll think you can win Believe me, brother, no one can get in It's full of surprises, it's called Burglar box Burglar box Burglar box built by Sooty. Burglar box, it's incredibly safe. Burglar box built by Sooty. Burglar box, it's incredibly safe. Burglar box built by Sooty. Burglar box, it's incredibly safe. Burglar box built by Sooty. Burglar box, it's incredibly safe. Successful? Yes. Well, I did eventually manage to find the bug, Sue, but it was not connected to the burglar box. It was connected to this little pooch here. Oh. Anyway, it proves my point about Sooty's burglar box. <laughs> it was not 100% successful. It get, it get, it's, it's there. Look, well, it's there. Of course it is. Safe as houses. You're yes. kidding. Oi, stay. I wonder if my five pounds is inside here. It should be. It was originally. It should, I've got it. I've got it. I can feel it. There's something on the end of it. Sooty? You? Have you been inside there all the time? What with all the water and the paint and everything? <laughs> you're not too cross, are you, Matthew? Well, you're only pulling my leg. Yes. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose it is quite funny, and I have got my five pounds back. Oi, you better say goodbye to everybody watching. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Everybody. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.
button moon. We're off to button moon. There's button moon shining very brightly in blanket sky. Hello, Tina Teaspoon. Tina's going to fly to Button Moon in their spaceship. She can't wait to blast off. Hello, Mr. Spoon. He's made cheese and pickle sandwiches for the journey. Hello, Egbert. He wants them to wait for him. He's going to Button Moon as well. Hello, Mrs. Spoon. She's going to do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Mr. Spoon is pleased they're enjoying their cheese and pickle sandwiches. Oh dear, Egbert's got pickle all over him. They're getting closer to the button moon. Mr. Spoon is going to press the round button to land. Back on button moon. Mr. Spoon is asking Tina and Egbert if they'd like to look through the telescope. No. Tina's telling her dad that Egbert would rather go to Buttonhole Pond because he's never been there. Mr. Spoon will take them. Maybe they can have a ride in the gravy boat. Come on, little bottle, let's hurry home. Oh, 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 I can't keep up with you, Small. You run much too fast. Cool. Look, the Spoon family must be here on Button Moon. Here's their spaceship. And I can see Mr. Spoon's telescope. I wonder if they're inside the spaceship. Can I have a look, please? Go on, then. I'll knock on the door. Is there anybody there? No, there's nobody there. Cool. They must be here because this is their telescope. Cool, they are naughty for leaving it out because someone might take it. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a quick look through it. Oh, be careful, Small. You might break it. What can you see? I can see lots of stars in blanket sky. What can you see now? I can see you. No, you can't. What am I doing? Uh. You're poking out your tongue. <laughs> oh. oh, I can now see Mr. Spoon and Tina and Egbert in the gravy boat on Buttonhole Pond. Cool. Mr. Spoon is pointing to a shoal of fish. Tina and Egbert enjoy watching the fish swimming. Bloop. Bloop. They finished going out in the gravy boat. Cool, we better put the telescope back into the spaceship. No, let's keep it here. We're looking after it for them. Cool. Oh, hello, Mr. Spoon. Hello, Tina. Hello, Egbert. Hello, everybody. We know what you were doing. You were out in the gravy boat on Buttonhole Pond. We saw you through the telescope. I hope you don't mind, but we were looking after the telescope for you, Mr. Spoon. Mr. Spoon doesn't mind. He's pleased you did look after it. Tina's asking her dad if they can look through the telescope. Oh, we can't stay. We've got to go back to the cupboard. Otherwise, Captain Large might tell us off for coming back late. Bye! Bye-bye! Come on. Let's all look through the telescope to see what we can see. <coughs> Sun is setting on Cherry Tree Farm. It's time for the animals to fall into the hay and go to sleep. Peggy, the little red hen, is saying good night to Pamela Pig. 
She's off to the cow shed. She's had a nice day on the farm, scratching around, looking for worms. And now, she's looking forward to a good night's sleep in the hay. Mm. Daisy the cow is mooing, because she wants Peggotty to shut the barn door. Mm. She always leaves it open. Oh, she's a bit of a scatterbrain. Peggotty's clucking good night to the old scarecrow. He's been in the barn for years. Oh, Peggotty heard a little tiny squeak from the scarecrow. He's never squeaked before. He's only got a pumpkin head and his brain's a straw. Oh, well, she must have imagined it. Ah, it's the little field mouse squeaking. She lives in the scarecrow's pumpkin head. No one knows she lives there, but she's been there for years. She likes getting herself ready for bed. Washing her ears. Washing her whiskers. <laughs> and washing her tail. But she can't sleep if there's too much light coming through the windows of the pumpkin head. So, what the little field mouse does is cover the windows with two large leaves. Oh, the little field mouse also can't sleep. She hasn't made her bed. Now, she can snuggle into the straw and get a good night's sleep. Everyone is fast asleep on Cherry Tree Farm. The only noise that can be heard is the wind blowing around the old barn, making it creak. Oh, not everyone is asleep. There's a fox on the farm. He can smell the little red hen. She's forgotten to lock the barn door. The fox is scratching at the old barn door to try and open it. Well, if he makes much more noise, he'll wake up Peggotty. He has. <laughs> Peggotty's pecked the fox's nose. He didn't like that. Peggotty's telling Daisy the cow what's just happened. Daisy thinks he might come back. Peggotty has an idea. They could stick the old scarecrow outside the barn door. It might frighten the fox. He'd think it was the farmer. Fox's nose still hurts, mm. but he's going to have another try to get the little red hen. Mm. Ah, the fox can see the farmer mm. standing outside the cowshed door. Mm. Who is it, the farmer? He's not moving. Huh. Mm. It's only old Scarecrow. <laughs> when Peggotty moved the old Scarecrow outside, the little field mouse fell out of bed and her leaf curtains fell down. She must put them back. The fox has seen the eyes moving. It must be the farmer after all. Mm, he's off. He will be back in a hurry. The little field mouse doesn't know that she's frightened off the fox. She's remaking her bed of straw. And now, she's dropped off to sleep. Tina liked the house where the field mouse lived, so did Egbert. Mr. Spoon says it's time for them to fly off home. Let's get ready for the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off!